Oh, hey, they love it. They love it. They like a lot of noises. Give you a low rev, and then I'll give you a high rev. That's good. Is that a low rev? That's a low rev. Oh my God. lights on yeah <laughs> yeah you know like that i like that <laughs> back from the when i had the rs <laughs> <laughs> so you guys don't know this is rob he's got a gt350 over here we've done some videos in the past and you can follow him on instagram he doesn't have youtube but instagram i'll attach it all but this is let's see if we can get some good light my messy garage this is an alcantara and carbon fiber steering wheel for his gt350 with a color match stripe which is kona blue yeah and color match stitching on there oh i see that yeah look at that oh man that is sharp who makes this david david at curo carbon makes that okay curo carbon makes really really good high quality carbon fiber parts he's in him gonna make a lot more parts for the mustang yeah so uh give him a follow on uh instagram at curo carbon and uh, also, he's on Facebook at Kuro Carbon. Dude. Oh. How much does this cost? It's, it's free for me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the best way to buy parts when it's free. Well, I'm going to be one of the first GZ350 running a bunch of his products on there. So I have a lot more Kuro Carbon parts coming. Forward. Got it. So you're, you're the guinea pig. I am. I am the guinea pig. Well, I can tell you, right? Normally, the guinea pigs get screwed. Yeah. You're like, you're like the test dummies, you know? Yeah. But this looks like it's a, a OEM part it's heavy yeah we we need we got this on the car it's gonna look Can't sharp wait. feels real good carbon fiber looks real good the weave is really awesome i love the fact that you got the stitching on there for my color code of my car um with the color matched racing stripe or steering wheel stripe i should say I'll yeah it. it's really really awesome i can't wait to put this on oh it's gonna look so Let's good it feels it's gonna look so good cool well things. let's get to it all right so he has also done long tube headers uh, what brand were they stainless works. stainless works headers with the corsa double helix x pipe still yep. corsa -X -Pipe yeah man and i haven't heard this yet but this is his car it looks awesome oh uh, hey they love it they love it they like loud noises oh yeah give me a low rev and then i'll give you a high rev that's good Oh my god! Hey, here comes the yep! <laughs> oh my god, is that Catalyst? Jesus! That's loud as hell. Wow. It's probably gonna drown out your video. There's a guy at Cars and Coffee that wanted to hear the headers on the GC350. And it just cut the, it'll probably cut the audio. It totally drowned out his video. He had to plug his ears and everything. Yeah. Oh man, are you on? You're an E85, aren't you? I am. I no. can smell it. No, the E85 yeah, it smells good. I need to do that to this very, very soon. Carnage needs E85, Alex. We, it needs it. The power gains you get from it. Oh, somebody, somebody's out there trying to join in. <laughs> but power. It's Christmas time. Power. Santa Claus is a coming. Santa Claus is coming. coming. I've been coming. good this year, too. Hey, see, you've been pumping out good videos. 10K <laughs> subscribers, come on. Yeah, I mean, we're growing. It's red. Carnage is ready for E85. It is, it is. And it's so cheap right now. It's $1.88 for uh, a gallon of E85. So I'm about to show you something, okay. and I'm going to turn the camera off. Sorry, guys, you can't see this. It's right. just going to be another video, I but... Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of the gloss too, but uh, something is coming. Something is coming, guys. Big so surprise. Big, big surprise. surprise. Oh, man, I can't wait to see that on the Rob, channel, man. So Rob has the exclusive. He now knows what it is. You can't know yet, but it has something to do with the front end, and it's going to shock you. It's going to be awesome. It's going to look so good. Oh, yeah. It's so good. So um, I know we're supposed to do this uh, steering wheel install. Is this a bad time to tell you I don't know what I'm doing? No. <laughs> I'm just, no. I'm just kidding. So, yeah, we'll get it in the garage. Let me clean the garage up a little bit, and then uh, we'll get started. All right, sounds good. All right, guys. So before we install, let's just take another look at this thing, and you can see the craftsmanship that they have done to this. 
So here's your edges. Looks really, really good. Everything is tucked nicely. All the stitching looks perfect. It looks all very factory. The Alcantara itself, um, now if you if you are experienced with Alcantara, you know there's cheap stuff and then there's the expensive stuff. And this looks and feels like the expensive stuff. So this is a very high quality product. Uh, it's very nicely weighted. I'm, I'm a little bit jealous, so I'm not gonna lie. But it's a very straightforward installation. You know, all this stuff comes out, the uh, the OEM wheel. And then just all these, these controls over here will swap over to the new one. But the Alcantara, so we feel this one here, the Ford stuff. And then we come back over here. And it's similar, which is a good thing. You know, it's not a downgrade by any means. Um, I think that this... If I had to put a price tag, he got it for free, but because uh, he's a test test guy for this. But these, it's probably about a thousand dollar wheel, I would think. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely very, very sharp. So what we need to do now is we're going to disconnect the power on the battery because we're going to mess with the uh, airbag a little bit, and that'll be our first step. I still don't have hood struts. Oh my goodness, you need to get those. <laughs> I know, I don't. Like the, <laughs> the cool. Heaven sent God mod. So, all right, so what we're going to do now is come over here and take these guys out. See if I can do this one handed. Oh, you're missing the back part of it. I am. I lost it. No, I lost the other ones. <laughs> it's okay, it makes it easy to get out. So, all right, so we got 10 millimeter. We're going to take this guy loose here. All right, we'll set it to the side. All right, to remove your steering wheel, on each side you have these little holes here. And there is a spring. I'll get a better shot later on. CJ Pony Parts Bill. Actually, there it goes. I can feel it. So anyway, you're going to push that guy in. There's a spring in there. We'll show it later on what it looks like. But there's one here and then on the other side. And then your airbag will actually pop free a little bit. And then just disconnect everything. It's a very, very smooth, easy process. So on this one... Since we already have it, I'll show you. So we're going to go to the little hole right here. And then we're going to come through. And then I've got a little Allen key, but you're going to push on that spring right there. And that's going to move inward. And then you'll do that on one side and then the other, and it will pop free. You're going to hit a wall. So just make sure that as you come in, you're coming in kind of like at an angle like this. You'll feel um, the, the little spring actually start to push. But you'll do one side, you'll lift, the other side lift, and then here comes your airbag. And so at this point, we're going to just disconnect everything. So you have these orange tabs here. You're just going to pull up on these guys. Be very, very careful. This is safety equipment you're dealing with. It's an airbag. Two. And then we'll disconnect that from the back. Should just come out. And then we'll take this guy loose like that. And there is your airbag. So the next step you want to do is just throw it in the trash. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> or we can we can take mine. We'll swap. So, uh -huh. so I got a, um, a pretend Cobra. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, 24 millimeter. And your center bolt there. And off it comes. Very, very easy. All right, so in the back here, we got to take some more stuff loose. Just grab it and pull it. And then your yellow wires will push through the back. There we go. That's it. Oh my God. These seats are so rough. <laughs> They're so aggressive. So here we go. These are the differences between the two wheels. So here's your Alcantara comparison. You can see a slight difference again. Now, how many miles do you have in your car? 4,000. Okay, so it's still pretty young. So 4,000 miles exist on this steering wheel here on the OEM, and then you compare that with the new stuff. So there is a slight color difference, just barely. And then uh, the wheel thickness here is definitely thicker on the new one, just a little bit, I would think. Let's see, yeah, it's definitely thicker. Um, so your 10 and 2 notches are definitely more aggressive here, which I'm a big fan of on the new one versus the old. So this is like the most, look at that. 
It's like the best comparison ever. <laughs> you will give up your leather at the bottom of the OEM wheel, but you're gaining this marvelous carbon fiber here. And uh, the stitching is gonna look awesome. So, and then uh, everything here is just gonna transfer over all these controls to the new one. That's it. So what we got there, what size? It's a T, T20. T20 Torx bit is what you're gonna need. There's a difference in the color. You got the uh, the nickel versus the silver over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can really see it here in this light. You got some wires in the back side. Make sure that you undo those, but the whole thing pops out, and then all of this is going to transfer over. So you get another Torx bit there, and all the controls are going to stay on the same side. You know, for the 1819 Mustangs, they basically switched all these controls, but. While he's doing it, this is one of the things that I harp on in some of my videos that I wish that Ford did with the regular Mustang. Was instead of doing a flip switch thing for your drive modes, they should have it on here, just like this on the 350. So you got shocks, steering, all of that right here. It's just easy to get to. You already have your hands on a wheel. You know, I think that they should have done that for the regular Mustang GT. So Ford, if you are watching this, this needs to be the standard. You know, you can still keep the toggle switches for exhaust like you have on a 350, but this is where your drive modes should be. Almost messed up. I'm about this one first. Yeah. Got it. So, as he's doing that, you just saw, you guys want to be pretty careful. Everything is a very snug fit, especially when it comes to this stuff. This is not metal. This is plastic, and it will break. So, take your time. But there's just some part numbers if you decide to break one. But, uh, yeah, just take your sweet time. No. There's a screw. Let's try it again. Take two. This just snaps into place easy. Mm hmm. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. Here we go. We're going to feed our yellow cables, wires through. And then hook everything back up like it was before. There we go. It only really fits on there one way. These are color coded when you put them back in. So you got black with black, yellow with yellow. Don't mix them up. Shit. That's what they changed. They changed the plug. Don't tell me they changed the plug. Yeah. So you got this long one here. Mm-hmm. And then... Oh. So it won't fit. So they gave you a 15 to 17 wheel. <sighs> well, that's shitty. Well, I guess I'm not buying your GT350 No, wheel. I guess not. <laughs> Damn. Well, that's not going to work. Well, this is unfortunate. Uh, that plug is different. So anybody that, you know, they've talked about it before. You know, this is what's changed. So the 18, 19 cars are different than the 15 to 17. And you can see here is why it doesn't work if I can do this one-handed. So you got that plug. And then this one is uh, a little bit wider. And it just doesn't fit into there. But... It's unfortunate. So this is a steering wheel fail, but the steering wheel does look really, really good itself. Uh, I recommend the product to anybody that has a 15 to 17 car, but unfortunately you have an 18. I do. And I uh, do. damn it, that sucks. I was wanting to see this thing installed. Well, this is what it would look like, guys. So we'll just pretend. So we'll put the steering wheel and just hold it in place. And uh, I can't get wide back enough, but this is how it would look. So very, very sharp looking. So yeah, we didn't catch this before, but you saw that, that plug right there underneath of his hand. It's a flat plug. Looks like this. And then here's the one from the OEM unit. So uh, a little bit different. So it started off as a steering wheel install video, and now it's just going to be this is exactly what the difference is because nobody else that I've seen on the internet has actually shown this right there, the difference, and that's why that doesn't work. 
but something to keep in mind if you're steering wheel shopping for your Mustang. Okay, so we're not giving up yet. So what we're thinking, this could ultimately lead to a disastrous failure, but we're thinking that this is actually the horn. Uh, you guys watching, you can comment below if that is true or not, but we're thinking about cutting these wires because those are the same. You got a red and a black and then, or I'm sorry, a white and a black, and then you have a white and a black there. And we're just gonna swap over the harnesses and see if we can jerry-rig this thing to work. And uh, this is arguably not the smartest move, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, I don't know, maybe we can just pull the, the things out of there. I got a pin puller. Yeah. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay, so you're gonna go to the left side there. You got a black on the right as you hold it like this and then the white and then that should just slide in there and maybe this will work, hopefully. This is, uh, I hope this works. So we're clipping the wires. This is what happens when you got two veterans to come together. We just tend to make shit happen. <laughs> All right, it's no turning back now. Well, there he is, we can reconnect them. Yeah. This is going to transfer over to the new wheel. You're actually going to might need two of those connector pieces, Alex. Let's uh, stop filming for this. <laughs> out. All right, this is the crazy voodoo stuff that we came up with. <laughs> Look right there. That is just nuts. Uh, hopefully this works. Uh, we're going to throw everything back together, reinstall it, and uh, hopefully his, his horn works. But that is that is crazy. This is uh, the crazy stuff that military guys come up with. <laughs> and just improvise and make it work. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> it, it works. Oh, my God. Oh. All right, let me disconnect the battery. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it worked. Oh, shit. What's that? The holes are bigger than they are here. So they're not snapping in? And uh, this is why this doesn't work. So here's the back of your 18, 2018, 2019 airbag. Okay, with a small connector. Put that to the side. Now, actually flip this over real quick. So in the bottom of the wheel, these little arms here fit down into these holes right there now this is also bigger so these arms right here are fatter than the older cars which were narrower and the location of this centering pin is further up to the skinnier version on the 15 to 17 cars with the 18s this is further down and then that's fatter so you see that you've got your hole here and then this this hole down here is further down so even if you re-splice wires or try to you know make shift this thing to work it's just not going to but over here this is how the 15 to 17 cars look so you got this right here see this metal connects down into this circle there so that's the way it looks these are a smaller smaller opening compared to the 18 so that's unfortunate but he's gonna have to contact his guy and see if he can get a fix but resplicing wires is not going to work but luckily the horn still works you know even after we did all of that so um we'll just reverse everything but you know you live and learn and um life goes on all right guys that's going to wrap up this video unfortunately we have the stock unit back in um all went well horn works everything works just like it did uh, when he first got here, but he's gonna talk to his guy again see if we can Get another steering wheel and then uh, you guys can see what the actual difference is because nobody has explained this because I know that like CJ's did their video Why the other wheel won't work, but they didn't really show it, but here well, I'm really really hoping that this tutorial we just did shows everybody uh, the differences between the 15 through 17 wheel and the 18 wheel. Yeah, um we can make we can make it work. We made the horn work. I mean, we got there, but there, that molding that's something that we couldn't 
do possibly maybe a grinder grind out that opening a little bit right. more to, to fit up in there but that's too much work for a steering wheel right there you know you could just uh yeah call the, call call my guy and let him know what the difference is and we'll move forward from there yeah because i mean that's that's the thing is they talk about the, the airbag being different mm -hmm. but they didn't talk about the framework of the steering wheel actually being different yeah. and they are vastly different so yes a uh, 18, 19 wheel will not fit in a 17 and vice versa. 17, 15, 17 will not fit in the newer ones. So that is, uh, unfortunate, but Merry Christmas to me though, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. well, we'll get it figured out and then, uh, do this again in the future. Oh my god, the thing is loud. Oh man!